Welcome back to the virtual UFR campus tour. Let's continue where we left off, Dr. William Riedel Center. Our first stop is going to be the Faculty of Media, Arts and Performance, also known as MAP, which is right here in this building. So let's go. This faculty offers a broad range of degree programs, such as Creative Technologies, Film, Music, Visual Arts, and Theater. On the first floor of the Riddle Center, you can find the Campus Food Court, the University of Regina Student Union, Campus Dentist, Student Success Center, and Center for Experiential and Service Learning, CESL, are also all located in the Riddell Center. The Student Success Center on the second floor of Riddell Center provides students with personalized support that's designed to encourage and assist them during the university journey. Student Success Center offers free workshops for students like exam preparation, note-taking and reading, time management, and so many different workshops. It also offers tutoring. Let's go learn more about CESL. Welcome to the Center for Experiential and Service Learning. My name is Rhea McFarlane, and I'm the Manager of Experiential and Service Learning. Uh, we have a lot of great opportunities in this newly opened center. Anything from getting involved either on campus or in the community for volunteering, we have opportunities for both through our ambassador program and our volunteer center. And don't worry, we find all the placements for you. So you don't have to do the work. You come to us, tell us what you're interested in, and we'll help you find those opportunities. Regardless of whether or not your faculty takes part in co-op and internships, every single faculty on campus has an opportunity to do some sort of experiential or hands-on learning. And we have lots of opportunities both in the class and out of the class for those experiential or hands-on opportunities. So when you leave your degree, you know that it's the right thing that you want to do. We're going to head to education building through these doors, but first, Let's appreciate this beautiful green space. In the education building, you can find the Film Department, IT Support Center, Education Auditorium, Kenneth Levine Graduate School of Business, Paul J. Hill School of Business, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Social Work, and Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science. Wondering about university gyms? Let's check them out! Our next stop is the Kinesiology building, right this way. As a UFR student, you automatically have a gym membership. So, you only need your student ID to get into the fitness center. You can also explore the wide range of intramural sports and find a fitness class here. Catch a UFR Cougars volleyball or basketball home match in the 2200 Spectator Gymnasium or a Cougars soccer match on the outdoor turf field. Once you're in the kinesiology building, which we have been for the past few minutes, and you want to head to the Luther College, you have to go down this hallway so, follow me. Remember I told you the UFR has three federated colleges? Campion College, First Nations University of Canada, and Luther College. These federated colleges offer a smaller college environment with the same benefits of a larger university. For example, they allow you access to smaller class sizes and additional scholarships. If you apply to UFR through a federated college, 
you are still a UFR student and you will enjoy all the same benefits. In the next few minutes of this video, we're gonna take a look at UFR's three federated colleges. things about you off our campus in the spring and summer is the academic green. See for yourself! Wakpa, Pasca, and Kistik Towers are all the student residencies. We'll talk more about living on campus in the upcoming videos. One more building to check out. Let's go to La Cité, the Center for French Education at the UFR. Thanks to partnerships between La Cité and a number of university faculties and programs, you can take full or part-time studies in French here in Regina. All French learners are welcome here, whatever their level. And we're back in Administrative Humanities Building. Yes, the building that we started our tour in last episode. So it means our virtual tour is now over and I can leave this part right over here. Thank you so much for joining me in looking at different buildings on you of our campus. If you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. Next episode, we're going to be looking at the student awards, loans, and the scholarships. So make sure you're liking this video and hitting the subscription button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.